Steelhead in the Classroom is a program where students get to raise um, steelhead eggs and raise them in a 10 gallon aquarium in their classroom. And they get to raise those eggs from all the little stages from egg to alvin to little small fry. And when they get to be small fry, after about six to eight weeks, they release them in a tributary of the Russian River. The big picture of this program, it's about helping change what students know up here and what they feel here. Because if we can do that, we create a new generation of people who care about our natural resources, about the fish, the water, and the land. Steelhead in the Classroom takes place in the Russian River watershed. The Russian River is 110 miles long, draining 1,485 square miles before reaching the Pacific Ocean in Jenner, California. The life of a steelhead is an incredible journey. One of the things that makes this program unique is that it is a long-term project, not a one-off project. Kids get to you know, participate hands-on, having them put the eggs in the, in the tank and marking on the little tape where their egg was and watch them turn into alevin and then to fry and then, and then releasing them and then just having them feel like, I mean, I always tell my kids on the release days, congratulations, you are helping save an endangered species. It's not every day you can say that. You are actually helping an endangered species survive. And so that's a pretty powerful message to give to them. The Steelhead in the Classroom program gives us all an opportunity to be involved in the life cycle of these extraordinary salmonids. Just below the dam of Lake Sonoma is the Warm Springs Hatchery that produces the steelhead eggs, eyed and wiggling, that are brought to your classroom and gently placed into an aquarium for exciting observation. Fascination ensues as the eggs develop into Alvin, half egg, half fish, it's not long before they button up, absorbing their egg sacs and become free swimming fish. And then comes the big day, releasing your steelhead fry into a tributary of the Russian River watershed. Your steelhead are going on a field trip they'll never forget. Oh yeah, and you get to go too. My favorite moments are the day they get to go to the creek and release their fish. So it's usually a field trip. Uh, teachers and a few parents, they go down um, to a local creek and they each have a little cup with their little small fry in there and they give their little fish advice and a little fish wish of their wish for their life as they go off on their journey as salmon. My fish wish is that um, in the future the fish that we let go will come back and to this creek and spawn. But really I want it to come back so that the river like depopulate these fish. Because uh, fish are really important to the environment for the life cycle. And I really hope that everyone else fish stays okay too. Because the more we have the better. To stay away from anything dangerous and try and stay in the ripples and not try and be seen. Hey, what's really exciting about the Steelhead in the Classroom program is that it puts science right in the classroom. The children are right there. They see the, they see the eggs, they hatch them, they talk about them, they study them. It's fabulous. The kids actually get to do it. They get to feel it. They get to see it and uh, measure the temperatures, look at the oxygen level, do all kinds of things that are true science but also just adventure. I think my favorite part of Steelhead in the Classroom program is just the students' connection to these little eggs and fry, small fish that they're raising, and how it connects them to the local creeks and river, and they get to know their sense of place. They get to know their, um, where they live and all the plants and animals that are connected to the salmon that are in our area. What brings me the most satisfaction and joy in this program, teachers work really hard to educate our students, and the more we can do to support them, the better off we all are. I have many favorite memories of the program, and all of them actually have to do with kids who um, come back as adults and share their uh, memories of the steelhead. 
especially one girl who um, ended up emailing me as she's going into her doctorate program and said that it was releasing the steelhead was the day she wanted to become a biochemist. So that's pretty exciting. The takeaway for the students in the steelhead in the classroom program is this kind of lifelong connection to their home watershed, their home place, and their home basin of where they live and the Salmonids that they share their habitat with. Once they raise these steelhead, they remember it for the rest of their lives. It's, it's really incredible. It's like, oh, I did that <laughs> years ago. And um, there's something about remembering uh, the story of the journey of the salmon that really makes a connection. Special thanks to all our incredible collaborators and sponsors. California Department of Fish and Wildlife, Russian River Fly Fishers, Redwood Empire Trout Unlimited, Golden West Women's Fly Fishers, Russian River Wild Steelhead Society, Sonoma Water, and the teachers, students, and school communities that make this program possible. And of course, this video would not be possible without the fish and the predators that keep them strong, and the beautiful habitat of the Russian River watershed in which we live. <laughs>